Hello everybody, Memphis here, coming at you live from the 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day for 100 days, I'll be doing with a different deck 30 times a day. And afterwards, I'd like to you please check out the channel and check out some of the videos I've been doing in the past. There's quite a few to choose from. Today, uh, I'm a little worried about today. Today is day 37, as you can see, we're playing pretty much pure ghost trick monsters. We're going to be trying to flip things face down, which is a bit tricky in 2018 with all these newfangled Link monsters that are running about. But I think we can do some things. It'll be tricky, but we can do some things, and we're going to do those things today. So let's get started. Alrighty, our first opponent is Player, the Great and the Magnificent, and we really want to go first with our Ghost Tricks. We have a bit of setup, but unfortunately our opponent will pick. It'd be nice if they let us go first, but it depends. Okay, he's going to go first. Sadly, not the greatest opening hand, and we're up against a layer of dankness. So, not off the good start, I'm afraid. Because our monsters are susceptible to hit him, even without the field spell. Uh, pretty generic stuff. So, while our opponent sets their trap cards, I got my daily shout-out. I give a shout-out every episode. Today's shout-out goes to my favorite sub, Mr. George Solanicus. The first one, the original one. Yes, good old George has helped out the channel. He gives feedback, and the feedback really helped. That's why this, uh, the video quality got better, even though there's this bar here. I'm planning to get rid of this bar. This bar is hidden here too long. Let's see here. Sad thing about ghost tricks, I need them to be flipped in order to do things. So right now we're going to set, we're going to activate our ghost trick mansion. This will make it so we take less damage. And less damage in ghost tricks is a good thing. And we'll set our ghost trick Musume. Who is part of the lockdown strategy, but we needed to get some setup first to do it. Okay, you got Lilith, the Lady of Lamentations. He's gonna keep searching trap cards. Alright, he's trying for Maki, oh, the Mama Maki, target face of monster, put controls, discard card, control that level, draw cards, and return that monster to the hand. Interesting. But it requires him to discard things to do things. Depends on what kind of traps. Got lots of traps. Alright, what do we got? We got our swords, which will be useful later. We're going to flip out Musume. Which he cannot use Maki Maki, even if he had Maki Maki. And we're going to summon our Ghost Trick Witch. So now, as long as these two are both on the field, Nekomusume's effect will make it so that any monster our opponent summons will be flipped face down. Yeah, so, once per turn, yeah, level 4, higher monsters, normal special summon, it goes face down. And if we can get the one card, it'll be even better. I think he is going to try and play Maki Maki. Or Mama Maki, I keep calling it Maki Maki for some reason, it's a weird card. It's a weird card that helps out the uh, Dark Worlds, actually. Even though Dark Worlds have that boost already with, uh, what's it called? The Danger Archetype, that's right. Alright, Mami Maki, you got discard two, and you're gonna get the Grapha. I don't like that, that doesn't sound so fun. Oh, it's gonna get rid of our field spell. I needed that to do things, so I'm just gonna attack with the Witch. It's all we got left now. Might as well deal a little bit of damage. And, uh, I could have flipped that face down. Probably should have flipped the face down, but I'm gonna leave it in attack mode. Lair of Darkness deck... It, it shouldn't have too many big monsters. Dark World's dealing. Uh, let's see. What do we want to discard? What do we want to discard? That's a good question. Let's see. Uh, special summon this. Special summon that. Special summon this. Special summon that. I kind of want to keep this. Kind of want to keep that. I'll just get rid of Neko Musume. She's already failed us once. Don't need her again right now. Alright. Seems to be playing pretty much... Purely Dark Worlds, almost. Ooh, the Pot of Desires. Very risky. Very risky indeed. I mean, if it works, it works. If not, then he's banished, like, important stuff. Depends on what the pot... He still can't draw for, uh... Let's see. He can't draw next turn. He can draw the turn after that. What are you trying to do, my dude? He's trying to just destroy a whole lot of stuff. To what end, I cannot tell you, because he's playing Dark Worlds. And bring that Grafa. 
the dragon lord of the dark world. But we don't fear Graffa, we have things to stop Graffa. And we're all good. The more things he summons, the better for us. Okay, we're going to keep that for sure. Let's see here. We're going to have to get rid of uh, Spectre. I don't want to get rid of Spectre, but we have to get rid of Spectre. Let's see, target Dark World. Okay, get the Dark World card from deck to hand. He's doing a lot of searching. He's only got 10 cards left. Depending on what our opponent does, we have a chance of decking him out. Because we do have our Swords of the Concealing Light. Uh, it's going to attack. And when he attacks, we can use our Ghost Trick O Lantern. We can negate that attack. And then summon Ghost Trick O Lantern face down. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, your graph it didn't work. Maybe you need to graph yourself some new ideas. Then he's going to set a whole bunch of trap cards. What kind of trap cards? I don't know. There could be anything. Could be a lot of things. Let's see here. Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. I think we're okay. I think, as long as there's no spell trap and removal at the moment, I think we are okay. Really depends on what happens next. Let's see. We got the Dolly. Dolly would be good for later. We're going to play our Terraform. And get ourselves another copy of that really nice field spell that protects us from the damage. I don't want to take the damage. Okay, what do you got now? Spell trap removal? He's got that one uh, Paleozoic. I know that does something. I don't remember what it does, but it does things. Let's see here. Summon that. Summon that. Okay, what we're going to do is going to summon Ghost Trick Mummy. Mummy's effect is that we get an extra normal summon. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice card. Be even nicer if we got all our traps that prevented opponent from doing things, but have not seen them yet, sadly. Ghost Tricks do not have much in the way of searching power, sad to say. They got new support, like, a while ago, but they didn't uh, go anywhere. Okay, he's getting rid of Witch. Which is fine. We didn't need Witch. I mean, I would have liked to keep Witch, but did not need Witch. I mean, I still get another normal summon. Oh, he's got Graffa. He's going to flip. He's going to get rid of our field spell again. I just know it. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Yep. The pen, he's going to give me Cerule. Cerule will force me to... Oh, he's going to get rid of Lantern. That wasn't ideal, but we can still work with that. So now I have to discard one of his cards. And then I just... Okay, I discarded Silva, so he gets it Silva, and then he can... Do, let's see. Decide the card to return to the deck. i got to return two? Ah, uh, bottom of the deck in any order. Hmm. That one, and that one. We need these. We need these to do things. Uh, ah, there's the thing. That's the one that gets rid of my field spell. Uh, then he got another of those things. I thought that was my card effect. And that doesn't count as... Oh, ho, 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 man. That's not fun at all. Alright, what do we got that actually, like, helps us in this situation? I got this thing. I can have his attack. But his monsters are too big for that to work. I can summon Trisbina. But that's, uh, a couple points too low. Hmm. I mean, that... I could summon... You know what? Let's go for Trisbina. That way we get rid of all of his things. Here's Trisbina. And then we're going to attack this. And then if our opponent is silly enough, he'll special summon a monster. Oh, wait. Not oh. Well, that was the end of a good run. I thought we were doing so well. But sadly did not get to keep the things we needed to keep. I was working on it, but it didn't work, so this is probably going to be the end of the first duel, sad to say. 
Dostrix did their best, but sadly, too much spell trap removal and didn't have our protection against spell trap removal. So, I will uh, hopefully see you guys in the next duel. Alrighty, our second duel is up against Rock to You. Rock to me, Amadeus, perhaps? Who knows? And I cannot win at Rock, Paper, Scissors to save my life, apparently. It is sad because kind of need to go first. But again, it depends on what their opponent is playing. Please make a decision, Mr. Rock. Okay, there we go. Opponent goes first. Opening hand, not terrible. Ditto. What? Um, okay. Ditto. Everyone likes... Okay. Uh, opponent is playing Abyss Actors. I'm going to ignore whatever this is supposed to say. What are you trying to say? I didn't type anything. I was playing Chronograph Sorcerer. Astrograph Sorcerer's little brother, who is almost as annoying as the now-banned Astrograph Sorcerer. I'm going to skip ahead until it is uh, my turn. Alright, it's finally our turn. Opponent did... A lot of stuff. Let's see what we can do. Right away, our terraforming. Gonna get our ghost trick mansion. We're gonna activate the ghost trick mansion so it will take less damage. What does this do again? If monsters got points to special monster destroyed. Add monster from graveyard. Pendulum zone. Target a monster in either place. So the special. Blah, 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 blah. Banish until the end phase. Okay, I don't have too many extra deck monsters, so it's fine. And we're going to send... We have to be our Swords of the Concealing Light, which will flip down all of his monsters. They can be flipped down. Which means that thing gets flipped down. And we're going to set Ghost Trick Mimi. That way we get extra summons next turn. And we're going to end our turn. Thankfully, he only has so much. Granted, he can Pendulum Summon a couple of things. But his scales are fairly low, and he got rid of his uh, Electromite, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe please, he won't have too much he can do. Let's see, what can he panel him summon? He can summon this, which doesn't do much. He can summon this, which doesn't do him much good. He can summon this hamster, and uh, that's it. It is about all he can do, unless his hand is full of powerful level 4 monsters. I am thinking Gene Warped Warwolf. It works very well in Pendulum Monster decks. That was Jock, obviously. Let's see. And he's got the hamster. Uh, okay, true. Okay. okay, so I can't use that effect, right? Because that wasn't normal summoned. Oh, it's just Tornado Dragon. Okay, of course, it's Tornado Dragon. Question is, destroy this first or that first? Okay, he got rid of that first, so he's going to do all the damage. Sucks, but that's what's going to happen. Sadly, there's just too much that gets over ghost tricks nowadays. Which sucks, because I had this whole strategy of, like, putting up this huge defense. But so far, we've had nothing but bum hands. And our opponents have had all these big old monsters. Ghost tricks are rather small monsters. Their whole gimmick is, you know, spooking the opponents in the face-down mode. And then, you know, attacking them and such. Okay, what do we have here? Actually, that could potentially be helpful. I could uh, actually do some things, maybe. We got our dolly. When flip face up, during the end phase, his monsters will go face down. And then I can special summon a ghost trick from the deck face down. That is a lower level and stuff. Let's see. We're going to flip up our mummy. Let's see. We're going to not activate the effect of the mummy yet. We're going to summon a mummy. And then we're going to normal summit. Okay, we're going to set this. And then we activate our book of the Tayo, which will flip our dolly face up. He might negate with this, uh, what is this, this dude. No, he's going to use the dragon. 
to destroy his own scale. Huh? Interesting strategy. Um, I am guessing he wants that in graveyard so he can bring it back. And then uh, use its effect again. Which makes sense, but at the same time it's silly. I mean, I guess he wants to just reset the scales. Why is it taking so long for it to blow up? Please don't tell me he's been disconnected. I don't want to count this as a win just because he disconnected. I mean, I will if I have to. I don't really want to. Mm. Okay, good. He's back. Good. Okay, so Dolly has been flipped face up. Okay, during the end phase, I get to bring out monsters. Let's see here. I could summon through Bane, but it's not useful in this situation. Why didn't I put Deco Talker in here? I don't know. Uh, what? Yeah, we're going to just end phase, and then this will activate. Flip those down. Special summon. Whom face down. We're going to freaking bring out Skeleton face down. That's who. That way we can do some milling. Because he got rid of his spell trap removal. He is uh, not able to uh, get rid of the field spell at the moment. So cannot attack the skeleton. Granted, he only needs one monster on the field to knock us out. So he might just do that. Sadly, do not have the hand trappy things to negate that. See... If this card's in the graveyard and you control the monster... Okay, can't do the Dark Worm. So why did he get rid of Dark Worm? I am very confused. Oh, so he can set up a even worse scale? Now he can't Pendulum at all. Uh, if you have a Magician card in the Pendulum, so add a Magician. Okay. But why, though? Okay, he did have a Dark Worm. So sadly, we've lost. Again. It sucks, but it's true. I was so close to milling out his deck, because if you don't know, Skeleton here, one of the best mill cards in the game, send card to talk to top of opponent's deck to graveyard, equal to number face of ghost tricks. So next turn I would have flipped, 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 summoned, flipped, milled five. It, it would have been beautiful, but sadly opponent had the things to stop us. Let's see, no, sadly cannot do things. I will see you guys in third duel where hopefully, hopefully we'll go against something that we can defeat. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I haven't lost yet. How did I not lose yet? All right, we actually have a turn to do things. Uh, sadly, I did not put, I thought I put Skaldeet in here. Why did I not put Skaldeet in here? I don't know, who knows, I'm going to flip this. Dang it, I might lose, but I am going to do the thing I want to do. Could flip things again. We're going to summon, we're going to flip this. Gonna normal summon this. And dang it, I am flipping this and milling out five of your cards. I don't know why that's mad. I don't even know why I need to actually pick a number. Let's see, I could summon Trisbana. Trisbana will at least get over some of the things he has. But at the same time, it won't get over much. I could get, let's see, I could summon so cute, boss, actually. Hold on. We have a ghost trip. Oh, wait, anything targeting will be negated by this thing. So I don't want to go for so cute, boss. I can't skull, dude, so I'm just going to summon Trisbana. Because I can summon Trisbana. I'm going to flip this face down with its own effect. Battle phase. Uh, destroy. Let's get rid of the knight so he can uh, no longer trouble me with his targeted protection. 25 points of damage. That's a victory in of itself. Man phase 2. End phase. The doll flips. And I special summon. Another monster. We're going to summon ourselves a Zhang Shi, which is most of our search power, sadly. The Zhang Shi, because I can flip it and I get monsters. I'm still going to lose. He can just crash these and then attack me directly, sadly. So I'll see you guys in the third duel. 
You are not going to believe this, but the duel is somehow still going. He foolishly special summoned a monster to Trisbana's position, banishing it, and then getting rid of all the spell traps, including his scales. So, is it possible we're about to see a ghost trick comeback here? Maybe. The only way to get rid of this is to attack with this. I mean, other way around. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let me think here. I could bounce this using this to get rid of these. And get rid of Skeleton. It's a close match. A lot closer than I expected. Who knew? Who knew that Ghost Tricks could do these things? I did not know. I just wanted to do some milling. Bit of other things. Things like that. Who knows? I am just trying to do all of my ghost tricky things and hopefully, hopefully this will work and I will be back as soon as he decides what he's going to do. And I am going to call this. Our opponent has gone branded, so he has pretty much given up all hope. Victory with 50 life points, baby. I know I said I don't like, uh, he's probably just disconnected, but I'm pretty sure I would have been able to uh, out all of his things. And so, therefore, I'm calling this a win for Ghost Tricks. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. So, let's go into the third and final duel. Alrighty, third, final duel. I am exhausted. We're up against player again, hopefully a different player. We're gonna try and go, hey, we finally get to go first, so let's hope we get a good hand. We have a decent hand. We're going to activate our field spell, of course. We got our protection in Ghost Trick of Vanish. I reveal Ghost Trick and it protects Ghost Trick stuff. Now we're going to set the mummy and end our turn. And see where it goes. Standard deck, except for 13 card extra deck. Wait a minute. Last time I played against 13 card extra deck, it was something crazy. What was it? I don't know. It wasn't Palladians, I know that much. So this is a new player. It's got that thing. You know, I've seen some Palladian players, but... Okay. Yeah, I remember the last time I played against Palladians, the guy was just like... I don't know what he was doing. Let's see. You can add a Palladian. No, we don't have to play that yet. Okay, you can special summon this card. Position. You can only special summon this once. This is normal special summon. Target a Palladian card, you control a card, your pump controls, destroy them. Has he used the effect of this thing yet? I don't think he has. Okay, summoning this thing. Uh, effect monster, special uh, Palladian trap trap. Okie doke. And then he's got this thing, so that's a 30 million attack monster or something. No, 3,000. It's, it's a lion. There's been a lot of uh, new liony looking monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! recently. This thing, that Cybers thing, that fusion dude. I don't know what the deal is. Target a Palladian, I must take all monster controls. Okay, but uh, you can't attack this. I'm just gonna call it and I'm going to activate my thing now. Or when I can play my thing, let's see. So what does this do? Once return, tribute to Palladian. I'm gonna activate the thing that protects things now. So now when I play this, he can't target my cards. Now I believe this thing can uh yeah, I think we're good. Our things are protected from Palladian threats. Arc Lord Palladian, the guy who looks like Natasha. Seriously, that could be Natasha's brother. Yeah, Cyber Angel Natish. Yep. Tribute. Yep. 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 Okay. 5,300, it's not, it's not a small number. Uh, okay. Still can only attack, uh, directly. 
That is kind of my effect, my friend. Okay, but I'm going to negate your pitiful attempt to attack me. So, as soon as this activates, I am going to uh, summon this. Thank you. Let's see, this gives it piercing damage. Double any bad Vasmus monster. Okay. I thought this thing had like a negation. Or am I mistaken? Why is it waiting? Please do not get disconnected like the last guy did. It the la okay, there we go. Last guy did get disconnected the last second, but I still counted it as a win for a ghost trick tie, the kind. Let's see. Hmm. Let me think. Depends on what we draw. As always with ghost tricks, depends on what we draw. There's Musume, who would have been nice earlier. What does this do? Tribute, Palladian, World Legacy, Special Summon, another one with original name. Okay, original guy, uh, that guy. So he's gonna destroy the field spell, I'm guessing. No, okay, he, just, he has to destroy two gods, okay. Let me think here. Three, one. I'm thinking. Yeah is best option, I'm thinking. We're gonna flip this. Flip that. Normal summon this thing. And then let's see we can make Trisbane now. What you're a light monster, right? Yes, you are. Let me think about this for a second. We got another one star. I could summon two of these. That'd make it 2400. And then that would lose power. I think that's what we're going to do. Just to shake things up a little bit. We're going to summon one of these. And we're going to go for double witchling. Double witchling. And then we're going to destroy these. Because without these things pointing to his monster, his monster has no power. Okay, yeah, now you get to tribute. You negated the effects of one. Uh, no. Ah, uh, man, now I can't destroy his monsters this turn. Sad face is me. So we're just going to end our turn. If he doesn't have a Palladian, we're good. Because then his monster is weaker than ours. Uh, yeah, 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 I think that is uh, how it is, depending on what he just drew, it'll either be game for me or game for him, because if he has a Palladian, he can summon, he'll run over a Witchling, I get a card, okay, that is a weaker one now, okay, you got that one, Interesting. Where are you going with this, I wonder? Okay, so now he gets to destroy one of his cards, to destroy one of my cards, and he gets to add another monster. Fascinating. He got that one. Yes, I do wish to get the card back, thank you. I'm going to get... Uh... I'm feeling Jack is a good option at this point because he is going to do it the attacking soon. Okie doke. You probably link these off. Yep, for that one again. And then he gets to special summon that one. But it's not stronger than my Witchling, so too bad for you. What does this do? Uh, let's see. Add to your hand. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, he gets, a, he gets a Palladian card. Fascinating. Okay. I get that. I don't... Okay, now he's going to summon the big one again. Which is sadly just a few points stronger than our monster. And now it's a lot bigger than our monster, so... 
Depending on what happens, I might come back. If not, I'll see you guys on end screen, because I don't know if we can come back from this, sadly. It was so close, but so far away for Palladians. They have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ghost Tricks 2018. We only got the one win, but it was a crazy one hell of a win, I'll tell you what, so I'm happy. I am also very tired because I am recording at 3 o'clock and I will never do that again. Um, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing Ghost Tricks in 2018. Next time we'll be playing uh, Six Samurais. Those are, those are fun. People like Six Samurais, and uh, it'll probably be a faster deck than this one, and hopefully you all enjoy it. So uh, thank you all for watching, and you all have a good one. Uh, take